Ready, set, go. All right, we're going to make a shape that's going to kind of draw that you can move around the screen with your cursor keys or your arrow keys. First thing we want to do is we want to kind of make a couple uh, important variables. We're going to make a variable for the X and Y location of like a little rectangle we're going to make. So we'll call these, uh, we'll make up names from, uh, let's do the location, we'll say location X. Uh, we're just making up these names. It could be Bob X or Snake X or anything like that. We're going to make it be 20. We'll do another integer location Y. Oh, C, Y. We'll make that one equal to 20. That's just going to be our starting location. Let's also do an integer for our size of our little of our little shape. So we'll call that, uh, um, let's call it how big? How big? All right, so if we come down here really quickly, we can come in and we'll start to write our little s rectangle that we're going to make. So remember, rectangles are x, y coordinate, and then w for width and then height. So I can actually add that as a comment off to the side here so we remember it. Um, but what we want to do here is use those values we just created up at the top. So location x, comma, and location y, and then how big, because that's the how tall I want it, or wide I want it to be, and how big. Case sensitive, remember, um, like that. So we just put in three values, and we're using those three values to make this rectangle, and in theory, there it is. Okay. Now we have this really tiny screen too, so let's fix that really quickly. We use the built-in size function for that. We'll make it be 200 by 200. I think that'll work. There we go, makes it a little bit bigger. And since our guy's small, it's not a big deal. Now one thing we want to actually start changing here is we want to actually use something like a key code uh, way to kind of figure out how to draw uh, and capture what, what the key is. So in order to do that, we want to make sure we can get a reference for it. Um, and one thing we probably want to add in here too is maybe just a little background color background and we'll make it be, I don't know, 220. Is that almost the same gray? Might be a little bit later. Oh, almost the same. Huh. Uh, you can put in any other color you want here. Remember there's a, there's a color selector in here. So if you wanted to pick a really particular color, you could. Um, so if I wanted to make this kind of like a pale greeny green landscape, I could. And I could just copy this code or hit the copy button. I did command C and enter that in for, whoops, inside the parentheses. Boop. That should give me my background color. And the same could be true of my little guy that I wanted to have run. Now, if, what I want next is I want to actually go in and use the reference. In order to do this, um, I'm going to do the reference, and I'm going to just switch right over here to this. And this is the processing reference that you can get from that menu. And I'm going to look for one for key code. Um, because this isn't just a standard one that we're going to be pressing, we, we're actually using two different parts. We're going to use key uh, pressed and key code as our as our commands here. So I'm going to copy this one. This particular example is actually one that makes it so you can make a color change, but I don't want to do that. But what I can do, and this is its own little command uh, function, it doesn't need to be in inside of there. I'm going to take out the fill value. I'm going to take out this. I'm going to use the up, the down. I don't want the else here. Boom. There's my this, 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 that. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the key up and the key down to modify the location. So I'm going to say if it's up, I want to change the Y value. And I'm going to make it equal to the Y value minus 10. When I do that, it's going to make it actually jump up. So I'm going to make the down one go y value equals y value plus 10. There's a couple other ways you could write this, but for the moment, this should work just fine. So let me go ahead and hit play again. And now I'm using my cursor keys to go up and down. Now I can't go left and right yet, but since up and down were the uh, two different key codes for that, I have a hunch that you guys probably can figure out what the next one is. Your assignment or mission, as you choose to dis to pick it, is to go ahead and see if you can add in left and right. And then after that, make it so that the background uh, updates each time so you're not drawing. All right, that's your challenge. Get to it.